Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Tia, and this is another car vlog. I am not moving, but I will be. I know everyone was concerned about me driving and doing this, um, but I have a special mount that's really right in front of me, so um, I'm being very safe, but currently, I'm drinking iced coffee. This little cutie cutie is, I feel like it's Motown Tress, like the Spin 62. I'll put it down in the uh, comments section because let me tell you what, my hiatus is over. I legitimately, I think that I reviewed, updated, like so many wigs. I've been wearing wigs, testing wigs, changing wigs, trying different techniques, filming, filming. Um, I cut my own hair with clippers, my real hair. I filmed that, so that'll be a little fun one. And what else did I do? Just a lot of filming, a lot of updating, a lot of editing. Um, I was so happy with the response from the first car vlog. Uh, so I wrote down some things that people wanted to hear. And I think this is a good time to do this particular one. But I want to talk about, someone was like, you know, when do you choose to wear wigs or not? Um, like, what's my decision? Because I do not always wear wigs. Uh, one of the biggest ones, I'll tell you right now, is the weather. Um, the weather here has been so crazy and hot that... I just can't even imagine wearing wigs. Maybe if I was going to work because, of course, like, it's two degrees in the office. We wait all year for summer for our three months of summer, and then they, like, icy cold blast. Everyone's in blankets and stuff. Whatever. That's a rant. So, um, if it's super hot, I don't wear a wig. I don't wear a wig to the gym. Um, and... If I'm just like hanging out in the house or, you know, just chilling with my kid or obviously doing anything water related, I don't wear a wig at that point. But if I'm going out for the most part, I am wearing a wig because I love it. I love to change the makeup and the wig and the blah and the whatever. So um, that's just how I express myself. So those and... When, when else do I or do I not wear a wig? Um, yeah, I think those are just really what determines whether I'm going to wear a wig or not. Um, and sometimes if I'm like super running late, I do have wigs set up and I can maybe take some pictures. I have wigs set up that either I'm ready to review or I have reviewed and I want to wear again that are already ready, you know, parts done, everything's laid and everything. Um, so at this point, even if I'm running late, I can still put one on. I feel like my camera lens is dirty, but maybe it's just the weather. It's sort of, mm, it's a little bit rainy here, cloudy. So I was able to wear a wig today because it wasn't as humid and I am on my way to work. Um, okay, and let's see, the other thing I wanted to talk about that people were asking me was about wearing wigs and dating. <laughs> And that's really been interesting. And someone brought up a point about how they've kind of almost experienced a bias. I feel like I address it head on. If I meet someone and they're and I can feel like they're vibing with me, I'm vibing with them, I will tell them right away. Um, I do online dating, although I hate it because I'm a very social person, but honestly, I'm a social introvert and I can get into that if you want to at some point. Um, so, the whole online dating thing, it's its hard because for me, like I'm a Pisces and I'm full on Pisces. So I have to catch a vibe. I have to catch a, a connection. I have to catch a spark in order to be interested. And then when I am interested, I'm just like 100% interested. So I'm either hot or cold and no one ever questions where they stand with me ever. Nobody. People may like me or not, but they, they're never thinking, um, you know, anything that isn't true. Like I am honest, open. I'm always respectful. I'm never going to be disrespectful to someone. I mean, unless I have to jack them up, like if it's about my kid, but you know, uh, but at the end of the day, I, I'm not fake. So dating in general is difficult because I feel like there's so much fakeness in games and you can 
text them, but then you can't, and then you have to like hot and cold, uh, whatever. I can't even get on with that part. Um, but I, I have had a few people that will tell me that they prefer me without a wig. Um, I most guys will actually just tell me which wigs they prefer, and and I'm fine with that. I have so many wigs. I had one guy that was like, "Yeah, I like pink wigs on you." So I just, you know, when we were going to be together, I for the most part wore pink wigs. That's just what I did. Um, and I dated someone recently who likes me in my short hair, and he doesn't like the wigs. So. I mean, if I'm specifically seeing him, I won't wear the wigs, but I'm not going to not wear the wigs either, if that makes sense. You know, if I'm going somewhere and then meeting him later or whatever, I'm not going to take my wig off just because he doesn't like it. But in general, um, you know, I know what he prefers. I'm sure there are some people who have shied away because of it. I'm not quite sure why. But I think because I'm so out there and so forward about it, most men will just ask me the reason. And I don't know for sure if everyone knows the reason why I started wearing wigs. So I guess I'll share that too since I still have like two minutes before I get to work. Um, so about seven years ago, I started to lose my hair and I went through many treatments, shots in the head, like in my scalp monthly, shots in my bum monthly, supplements, this, fancy shampoos, medicine, all of the different things. Um, a lot of testing. And after like four or five years, to be honest with you, I had a doctor and she was just great. And she said, I think it's your cortisol levels, which is your stress hormone. And so I had my cortisol and my thyroid checked a million times because that's what everybody always thought it was. But what she did, what, because I was in the normal range for cortisol, what she did was she like took the tests and matched them up over time. And she found that for my, even though I'm in the normal range, for me, I was spiking high or dipping low or what have you. And she really thinks that that was a trigger to um, essentially my alopecia. So when I got divorced a few years ago and relocated, I kind of, you know, my hair was just really in a bad place and I just went ahead and cut it all off and I started wearing wigs because I thought if I have to wear wigs I want to be comfortable with it I want to have fun with it you know I don't want to be in a position where I'm already upset that I've lost my hair and then be feeling weird about wearing wigs so that's why I started doing it the funny thing is is once I cut my hair off and started wearing rig wigs regularly um, my hair is grown grown back thicker and, and stronger than ever. Um, some of the places where I had already lost hair didn't really grow back that well, but they're few and far between. So, you know, it's kind of like when people are like, oh, I'm trying to have a baby and then you're all stressed about it. And then you go, you know, you go on a cruise and then all of a sudden you're pregnant. I think it was just, you know, in general, I wasn't really thinking about it too much. So yeah, so that's that. But so that's been my experience so far with dating. If someone like really didn't like it and they didn't want to date me because of it, I wouldn't know that. They didn't tell me. Um, maybe it's just one of the guys that didn't call me back or maybe I didn't even vibe with them. So whatever. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's my car chat, my car vlog for today. And I'm so excited. I'm parked that you're here. And, um, I addressed a few of the questions. I'll do another car vlog soon where I address some more. If you have more questions, if you want me to elaborate on anything, go ahead and put that down below. And I'm so happy that you're here and subscribed and, um, I just really appreciate you. So I hopefully will see you in my next video. Bye.